So the Power BI update for February 2024 is here and we're going to review what is new there. Let's get started. So first of all, visual calculations. What is a visual calculation? Visual calculation allows you to do DAX on a visual. So you can get this column, you know, the same that you do in Excel, you can get this column minus this column, and then you get a new column that exists only on the visual. This has existed for the longest time on custom visuals. So I'm very curious to see how far they've taken this. So can you create columns? Can you create rows? And so on and so forth. I will do a separate video about this. I'm really interested to see how far they've taken it. So let's see. Dynamic subscriptions for Power BI report. So this, first of all, is premium only. You have to say it in the text. It is only premium. And what it does is it allows you to, let's say that you have a team and then you want to get sent a PDF report. Why would you send a PDF report? That's the example they put in here. But if you want to send a PDF report to your teammates with their data only, you can do that. You can create uh, the report and then you can say to th these to get his data. This. So it's like role level security without doing role level security kind of thing. I recommend you not to send PDF to your teams. Make sure that you use Power BI. But if you have premium, check it out. On object interaction updates. So now when you click on the visual, the visual pane will show. Before you have to click, click. Now it shows. Again, I would love for the format pane to hang next to the visual. So I don't have to go all the way over there to, to do stuff. So doesn't seem that it's going to happen, but I'm still going to request it. They have also fixed some other bugs, so just check it out. Power BI Home in Power BI Desktop is horrible. So if you are like me and do not like Power BI Home experience, you can actually disable it. Go to the preview features and turn it off. So I did last week a video on how to use well-known text on maps. It was on the icon map, which is a free custom visual, really, really good one. And now Azure supports it. So if you want to give it a go, you can go to my previous video and check that out and give it a go. So measure descriptions with Copilot. First of all, I wouldn't share my data with OpenAI, especially when they've said that the only way for them to sustain their business model is to use copyright data. But if you still want to do it, here's the thing. OpenAI has been installed in data centers in the US and France. If you are not on those countries, your data will be moved to those data centers. So please, if your data is private and you don't want to move across countries, don't use Copilot, okay? If you still want to do it, go ahead and do it and give it a go and let us know how everything works. So for the service, we have storytelling in PowerPoint, which basically means that you can share your report in PowerPoint using the link. You can copy the link from Power BI service, put it in PowerPoint if you have the add-in and then it will show the report. The issue here was that you would have to give access again to the report to the users. Now there is a tick box. If you click it, it will give the access automatically. Okay, so that's nice. So what is your favorite feature this month? Without having checking this out, I would say visual calculations, but I have to check them out. So when I publish that video, I will tell you if it is my favorite or not. What is yours? Let me know and I'll see you in the next one.